Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Danishka's Readings. So today we're going to be seeing a book named Magnificent Mabel and the Christmas Elf. So let's see who made this book. So the person who illustrated this book is Ruth Crayley and Julia Christians. Okay, so now we're going to get to the main part of the story. So the main part of the story is that then they have a Christmas, it's Christmas Eve, and this girl named Mabel is really kind and generous during that time, all the time. So, she wants to give some presents and stuff. So, she has an elder sister named Meg, and Meg already bought presents for Mabel, her mother, and her father. But when Mabel goes and asks, asks her mother that, Mom, when will you take me to Christmas shopping? And her mother said that, wait, you don't remember, Mabel? I, I bought you and <clears throat> I bought you and Meg to the shop to buy some Christmas presents. But you decided to spend all of those money on you buying a present for yourself. Like a toy for herself. And she was really sad at that. So while she was sleeping, she felt like really sad of what she did and stuff. So yeah, and there was a crazy elf and you just press its tummy and it just says random. It talks, it sings, and it dances, and it does naughty stuff. So she calls it the naughty elf. So one day, she hears, she thinks that, wait, I didn't even get a present and tomorrow is Christmas. What am I going to do? And she suddenly thinks, knows that, wait, my parents love when I, when people recycle. So what if I take my old stuff and give it to them? So she found a teddy bear, which was having one bald spot, a twisted ankle, a twisted leg, and she thought that, well, I can, I will give it to Meg. And then she found a pink bracelet and she wanted to give it to her mother. Then she even found a book full of word searches and she wanted to give it to her dad. So she did give it. And what happened is that she, while she was doing that, she needed to pack everything. Then she thought that maybe the bald spot doll won't be good. So since Annabelle, maybe I can give my another toy named Annabelle to her, to make. So she had to wrap all of them, but there were no decoration papers anymore. So the naughty elf from the side said that, why don't you tear some papers from the other presents and you use them for yourself and she was like okay fine let me try that and but all the pages ripped and all the presents got opened she was really mad about that then what and then what happened is meg M mabel was really mad at that and she shouted at naughty elf that oh my god Everything is because of you. Now I'm going to get schooled and she was really mad. So Meg heard all of that and she ran downstairs and she was like, Meg, what did he do? She was like, Mabel, what did he do to the presents which I wanted to give you and dad and mom? And she was like, no, I did none of this. Everything is because of Naughty Elf. And Meg was didn't seem that mad because she was into the Christmas spirit. So yeah, she was actually not that mad about anything. So, then this was the first chapter and this was also the second chapter the third chapter totally changed because after christmas the school got opened so after that this when the school got open there was a boy and the boy was new so they made him sit with another rude boy and Mabel was like, why didn't you make him sit with me? I'm the kindest one. I know how to welcome people and I'm kinder than him. Why do you have to make him sit with him? And then she was really mad. And she wanted to bring him from that new boy, from, that, from him, and bring it to Mabel. So he, Mabel didn't want the new boy to be friends with him. 
He, she wanted the new boy to be friends with Mabel, her. Yeah, so yeah, this is the main thing here. And what happened is that she wanted to make um, the new boy feel new something and become her friend. So she said that I can do the circus, you guys know, right? The walking on the rope. She did, uh, maybe I can do the tight tight rope walk and she tried, tried it and she fell and she almost like broke her arm and she had a really big bruise so that's the main thing here so for this book i'll give a rating um um eight out of ten i'll give this rate this book a rating of eight out of ten because this book was really 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 fun and i am ages from uh, this act book is actually really good because in each page, the page, there are only like one paragraph, one paragraph. There are not a lot. There's only about like 21 words in each page. So it's not a big thing to read. And there's not a lot of pages too for this book. There's only like 100, yeah, there's 135 pages. And come on, look at the pages, guys. They're literally so so messed up. Look, as you guys can see, the page there are only like maximum this much of words in each page only. There are not more than that. Since the words are really big, the words it can only fit some words. <coughs> so that is the books for today. So the ages from maybe like six to 11 i mean 13 can read this book so that's it for today guys see you all next time peace